Good morning. This will be a uh, another Grande Pacific production. Uh, we're going to go over correcting some uh, parts on uh, layout editor uh, panel that I did uh, so that we can track trains in the uh, program. It's one of the advanced features of layout editor where you can trace trains and I have done some things in building this panel that uh, would not allow that. So we'll correct them in incorrecting them, it'll give you some of the techniques that you have to use in uh, switch machines, uh, track segments, anchor points, things of this nature as I go through and correct these. So uh, you know, we'll get over here into, uh, we're going to switch the panel and go to the edit mode, Apex Main. and we need to fix this. So we're going to go in here and we're going to remove it. Yes. We're going to remove the anchor point at the other end. Yes. And we're going to go back up here and type in delete that one Apex Main. And it's a track segment it's a main line. We're going to hold the shift key down. We're going to put our mouse pointer there. Left click. Drag the line over. Release. And there's the new one. And it immediately turned red because I have this set. If it's red, it's occupied. Now, the next thing I got to do is go in here and fix all this. And let me tell you, I spot something else here. It's interesting. We got an extra anchor point in here. <laughs> uh, this is a live and learn thing, you know. Uh, it's a big panel, built it, first one I ever did. So, uh, thanks to all the people at JMRI uh, that have, you know, thrown in their two cents and gotten the get me in the right direction. You know, we're trying to progress to a point where we can follow trains around during their operation by a Pacific train number like uh, if it's the manifest freight uh, train 101 or 100 will have a tag that will follow it around that's what we're trying to do so that's an example today of what you got to do uh, these everything in here will be the same name as far as the block see it says apex station track if I go to the switch the block name is Apex Station Track. Now, it's also turn out NT217. So you get a switch, you have two things to deal with. And relocating switches sometimes can get interesting. If I grab this in the middle, I can drag it, as you can see, and move it around. If I try to get over here on the anchor point, it'll move around. Let me guarantee you, you want to have everything lined up here and in place before you start connecting these things. Because once I remove these extra anchor points and start connecting all this stuff, if you go to move this switch, it drags the other lines with it and it becomes very difficult. Now, uh, as we determined, this is the apex station track right here. Now, I could connect, put little pieces of track segment in between all of these. And uh, that would solve the problem. Uh, I have no particular reason for doing what I'm going to, the way I'm going to do it, uh, other than it, uh, yeah, I take some of the uh, busy situations out, so uh, I'm going to choose to eliminate the problem. So I'm going to remove, well, let's go over here and put this here, go remove here and take this out and remove here and take that out. Then I'm going to remove here, take this out. 
Let me move here and take that out. And we're going to think. So now we have to go back and put those track segments in. So this is going to be up at the top, which I'm up. Yeah, you can see it. It's just at the top of the screen. Uh, Apex S. That's again track segment and it's a uh, main line. So now I should be able to just hold the shift key down and drag this thing over till we get the crosshair let up and that did that one so go to the next one hold the shift key up down drag it because these are all the same block in here let up and you have that one you have that one now you'll notice all of the, except for this one because there is nothing attached to you so that will stay red but all this is now green on the anchor points. And if we go back here and we check, you see it says Apex Station Track. We hit the edit. You, this may be off the screen. And we check here, I have my uh, occupancy center uh, sensor there. So this, if you're building a panel, you see what I did. Locate your switches first. One important point that I need to make as you go along and you make changes, uh, you need to go up to the top and click on uh, File, Save Panels, and then click when it, the screen opens up, save the panel, and this one has its location, your panel will have a name save panel and it's going to come up and it's is it uh do you want to replace it or overwrite it yes okay because we made some changes we need to save them uh i wouldn't go down the road too far without making changes if you're making changes saving it uh you can check and make sure everything's working now we haven't fixed all the uh, little things but i'll give an example here as I go along, one of the other things that I do is I do check. So I'm going to open this switch, and uh, we have one each locomotive sitting out there. It's in the red, and we're rolling it forward. So across the uh, two crossovers, it's in the switch block where the switches are located, and now it's going into the station track. Uh, so you want to also check these things as you go along make sure your switches are still working make sure they're in the throwing in the right positions and that when you run engines across the blocks that all of the detection is working correctly now you still see i got things to fix but uh I just wanted to make this point now one additional area we want to talk about here that gets to detection uh, this is a crossover. There actually are four detection points. If you go into the, uh, the help section and read about this, uh, this crossover can have four detection points. This could be one, two, three, four. Uh, the way I read the book, it's clockwise and uh, on the screen, uh, but it could be one, two, three, four. I'm not absolutely sure but on which way it falls, but the important thing to know is you could detect this up to four ways. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going back and I've added some more detection capability. I cut mine in half. Basically the rail right here in the middle, whichever one you're using, uh, whichever rail you're cutting for detection purposes, I'm now putting an insulator if it's new track I'm putting down or going back and cutting it and put it you know uh, inserting some uh, plastic uh, in there to separate it for to where it's cut in half so I'm detect one block is this side and one block is this side that way if the main is occupied then it, you can still have a switcher over here or if there's a switcher over here it doesn't follow up the main as far as being occupied 
Uh, so that's another aspect. And again, if this was split correctly, when you saw me roll the, the engine across here, this one needs to be fixed. Uh, when, when I occupy this right now, you see the whole thing turns red. So I need to go back here and put some more detection in. This was actually one of the first sections I did um, as far as blocks. This needs to be cut here. This needs to be cut here. That way, surely, because there's a whole bunch of industries down off of this switch. This is an industrial area down here, and, and the local goes down there. So you would, you would want to indicate that there's somebody over here working on this side, but the main could be open and you could pass a train through. The other aspect of this you want to get into is you want to have all this lined up and uh, before you uh, start uh, putting your switches in place and so forth, before you start tying in these blocks, uh, give you an idea what happens here. If I move this anchor point, uh, look what happens. Everything just goes crazy. So that's because it's connected. Now, I can drag this switch around and move it. Um, you can do all these cute things, but as you can see, they go cockeyed. So this takes some getting used to. You gotta learn how to play with them uh, before you get into connecting the other lines. Uh, this one needs to be fixed. This needs to be fixed. Now I have to add track segments in here. Absolutely, only way I'm gonna fix. I can fix this one by removing and taking the anchor point out. Let me make this point. The only way I'm going to fix this, because it's two switches, I have to put a segment of track in here. Uh, there's no other fix for this. I can't drag this over. It will not turn these two boxes green. So uh, when you have two switches butter, butted up against each other, you're going to have to fit them in. You're going to have to leave a gap and uh, add a piece of track segment in there and give it the block name in this case this is all in one block for right now until I can get around to fixing it uh, that requires a physical fix first and then I can come back and uh, fix the panel so just some tips on uh, doing the uh, uh, crossovers and so forth uh, I think this just about covers everything we're going to do as far as tracks and pieces and segments uh, if you re also remember this there are a set of instructions at the bottom down here for the basic moves and what you need to do uh, holding shift keys down and right clicking and left clicking uh, after a little while you get pretty used to it uh, 